All right, folks, we're on the outside of my penthouse apartment suite, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, there's like two, three, four, five, six other units in here. This is my unit here. Not my unit, but uh, yeah, two more down there. Put uh, in the balcony up there where there's more clothes drying. And you can see it's got good security. Nice screen door. Let's go in. It's a mess in here right now, but so from the inside, looking at the front window, front door, and looking in. That's the refrigerator we bought. Uh, kitchen. Downloading a video, drinking a San Miguel. Nothing wrong with that. Got a TV. Uh, got these. <laughs> I call them Fisher Price chairs, but yeah, we got looks like five of them in here. Might have one upstairs too. <clears throat> Couple bags of rice. I think we're giving that to family or whatever. I don't know, my wife's got plans. <clears throat> we bought this burner last year, I think, and uh, this thing is really good. I wish they sold them like this back in the United States. These are really high quality stoves. And of course in the Philippines, everybody uses propane indoors. I'm not a big fan of it. Make sure that's closed. Um, Cupboards got some minimal stuff on here. Now, I'm renting this place for about two or three months. I don't even know. But I'm going to be leaving here shortly. My return flight has actually been canceled because of the coronavirus. So I'm actually kind of happy because I won't be flying to Taipei, which is, a, I guess, it's a high risk area now for coronavirus. So they're going to put me on Nippon Airlines a day later, and actually I'm loving that. I'd rather fly on a Japanese airline than a Chinese, well, I think it's Chinese, EVA Air. But they did good bringing us here, and I did have to go to Taipei. Let's look upstairs, and I'll leave the bathroom as a grand finale. This, these stairs, man, if you crack your head, if you fall down, you're going to bust your head open. This is the gateway to the, the balcony. Got some clothes drying out here, I think. Yep, sure enough. Sister-in-law's clothes. And all she does is wash clothes. Love her, though. Let's see all these chairs down there. That's all. Well, you guys seen this already. Kind of dingy looking in here. What the heck? We're in the Philippines. Here's the room where my sister in law is sleeping. with that parrot but TV was in that box refrigerator in that box she sleeps on this thing on the floor now of course this place isn't gonna be long term for my wife or me <clears throat> especially me at least I hope not here's the room we're in look at that dirty doorman this place isn't bad really well uh, a little messy in here got it on bed here bamboo bed some storage everything's a mess right now wife and a sister-in-law went, went out and to get some manok aka chicken so we, we wash ourselves and then we just hang the towels up here in the dryer let's go down and take a look at the it's a beautiful bathroom.
first time I looked at this bathroom, I said, eesh. I just bathed myself. Look at that shower head above the toilet. Kind of, you know. But there's that bucket, there's a pail, and the way you do it is you heat up some water and we do it in that kettle. And you add it to some existing water in here. And then you add more water as needed to your desired temperature. Um, and then what you do is you take the bucket, scoop it, take this bucket and scoop it over your head. Oh, I almost did it again. Uh, and then lather with some soap. And then take the pail, get clean, clean water, and rinse. So I will never use, well, I haven't and I won't be using that shower head because it's cold water. There is no hot water in here. <clears throat> now another thing kind of goofy, I understand it because you got a shower head here, right? But you got a toilet seat there, which has some hair on it now because uh, I put my feet up there to dry my toes. But, you know, if you're sitting there doing your number, and then you're getting ready to clean yourself, and you got to re... What? You got to... <laughs> That's about a good four feet above the toilet. So... Not really the most practical shower, bathroom, but it works. First, day, first couple days here, we had these two big cockroaches in here, just grossing me out. And I noticed I keep going to the toilet brush. So I told my sister-in-law, well, get that thing out of here. And they're feeding off that thing. And got it out of there, I got those two cockroaches, they were huge. You know, uh, no more. No more cockroaches. But yeah, I'm gonna get this video loaded and uploaded on YouTube. I got one loading right now. And until next time, I'm Paul. Wish me luck getting home. <laughs>